Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all well and I'm happy to share today's vlog with you. So as you can see my travel equipment is packed and I am about to leave Dubai for a business trip to Doha, Qatar. I visited Doha quite a few times already for business but since the pandemic started our business travel was completely shut down. Now as cities are opening up again it is time to visit clients and friends who I haven't seen for a very long time. Of course we will also try to visit the local Rolex stores and check out what is available over here. So take a coffee guys and enjoy the journey. One nice improvement, we now have direct flights from the UAE to Qatar. So no more traveling via Oman which reduces the whole traveling time by around 5 hours and makes this a convenient flight of about only 1 hour. Before going to Qatar you actually have to register with your valid vaccination certificate and a PCR test. Due to my German passport I can enter Qatar without any upfront visa application. This is super cool and takes a lot of hassle away. In general I always like to visit Qatar. The people over here are super friendly, they will take good care of you, there is no crime and you will feel super safe in this city. Time to check in. The hotel I usually stay in is located close to the city center, has all kinds of luxury amenities and comes at a very affordable rate. So have a look at the room guys. Isn't this fantastic? Time to end the day with a frozen lemon and mint cooler and some sushi. And starting the next day with a proper breakfast to be prepared for some incredible projects I'm going to visit over here for business. After finishing my work I'm now free to check out the local Rolex stores and give you a good report what we can find over here. Doha has two Rolex stores. One located in Modern Home close to my hotel and the second one is in Laguna Mall close to the new city district Lucille. A nice selection of day dates, blue dial, silver dial and some chocolate dials. The prices below the watches are in Qatari Real. One Qatar Real is 0.27 US dollar. So this silver day date for example costs 38,000 US dollars. Two more day dates with diamond bezel and diamonds on the dial. The display of day just watches and a new fully loaded Datejust with Mother of Pearl bracelet and Rainbow bezel. And one of my highlights over here, the green dial two-tone Datejust with Roman numerals. A piece that is also on my list for quite a while. But at 55,000 real, of course a heavy hitter for my wallet. The silver dial isn't bad either. A more affordable, very nice combination is this rose gold rhodium dial Datejust on Jubilee bracelet with fluted bezel. This watch comes at 12,700 US dollars. For the blue dial fans, I found the Jubilee fluted bezel white gold Datejust with a purple to bluish dial. This one comes at 11,700 US dollars. More Datejust with steel and white gold. And the only sports model available over here is this rose gold Yardmaster 2 which comes at 27,000 US dollars. Two more simple two-tone Datejust with white dials and the selection of full steel watches. And a Rolex watch I have never seen before is this pocket watch which you could actually buy over here. The store guys told me this piece would be discontinued soon and is very rare and one Shailini watch. In the displays outside the store a rose gold Datejust Wimbledon dial and some more two-tone Datejust variations. Just. 
On our way to the second Rolex store, a quick stop at Blue Salon. A nice store with all kinds of luxury fashion items and of course watches, watch boxes and watch winders. A Rolling Stone Zenith. And my highlight over here, the Breitling 806 re-edition. A beautiful piece inspired from the vintage 806. This watch comes at around $8,800. Two Breitling are Aerospace Evo, especially the blue dial looks very nice. The new limited edition red dial premier chronograph. I heard this piece is limited to only 250 pieces. So if you like it, better try to get one quick. And another highlight over here, this beautiful blue dial Zenith DeFi Classic. I heard this watch is going to be discontinued soon. So again, if you like it, better grab it sooner than later. And more Zenith watches we can find over here. Before leaving the store, buying a small gift for my girlfriend, the Cartier Carat, advice from the store employee, wrapped in some nice gift paper. And now on our way to the second Rolex store. Doha is a beautiful city which is changing quickly and becomes better and better. Next year the soccer world championship will take place over here. The government is building stadiums, hotels and leisure facilities so every visitor can enjoy the stay or vacation over here. We are now at the Laguna Mall, a high-end shopping mall in Doha. And here is the Rolex store. Two-tone Datejust watches. A mother of pearl, white gold with diamonds and two full steel Datejust and a full range of two-tone watches. Another nice green dial Datejust but this time also with diamonds on the bezel and many more Datejust watches. Let's have a look at Tudor, one Black Bay 58 blue dial on bracelet in the display, the watch I actually couldn't get in Dubai. And here it comes at $4,200. Next to Rolex we have a Patek Philippe store, so let's have a look at it. A pocket watch. And this store has only one single watch for sale, a blue GMT pilot's watch. Besides that one watch, the store had an exhibition with some very rare drawings and magazines from the past. A 1954 magazine with a Patek Philippe commercial, some of the watercolor sketches of the Patek Philippe ladies annual calendar, and first drawings of the annual calendar mechanism showing the famous dolphin piece. Time to leave, a last look at the Lucille Stadium, which is under construction for the World Cup. The new galleries Lafayette, another ultra luxury shopping mall. And before leaving Qatar, I have to get my favorite shake over here, which you can find in the Katana district. The store is called Ushka Freshka. I hope I pronounce it somehow correct. Which one we had last time? Oh, I don't thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember. Yeah. 
And I am going for the iconic shake with strawberry, mango and avocado. Super delicious and super friendly employees working over here. So in case you plan to go to Qatar, definitely try one of these shakes. They are really incredible. Oh my god, this is so good. This tastes so good, it's crazy. It's so cool. back at the airport and time to leave beautiful Doha. Unfortunately no Rolex store over here but a Harrods store. As far as I know Harrods is owned by Qatar besides several other investments Qatar did in the UK. A nice 9-11 in Tag Heuer design. A quick look at the Gucci boutique. I love those tiger designs, the best wallet in my view, which I also own. And back in the plane and ready to depart. So guys, this was a quick summary of my trip to Doha, Qatar. I hope you enjoyed traveling with me. Leave me a comment if you like those traveling vlogs and I might do more in the future. Leave me a like, stay healthy and bye bye.